Hello everyone, what is up and welcome. I am the OGGO Greg Osmond. Thank you for joining me today. This is episode 25. What a great number that is. World of Outlaws Dirt Racing 24. If you missed the last episode where we finally broke through and got our first, second, and third win here at the regional level, you can click the eye in the top right of the screen. Go check that out, please. If you would, make sure you'd like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. So you can follow along with the rest of this series. And as always, check out the video description for our Linktree link to all of our great channel supporters and sponsors. That Linktree link is also on the eye in the top right of the screen. Linktree has all of, like I said, all of our great channel supporters and sponsors. Make sure you go support for those who support us. Video description also has information on channel memberships. $5 a month for extended videos, exclusive videos, and other perks like that. Uh, I will be adding in the discount code for free shipping on all Osmond Racing merchandise. So that will be in there. Uh, should be today or tomorrow. Um, yeah, go check that out. Uh, before we get started, go check out the Osmond Racing Facebook page or Twitter or Instagram or whatever social media you might have. Uh, we're running a contest, or not a contest, a giveaway. Uh, if you complete the survey, you'll be entered into winning a Manta Sleep Pro Sleep Mask. Those things are amazing. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. They block out all the light. They are amazing. They, they don't pinch your head or anything like that. So uh, head on over to our Facebook page. Check that out. Uh, that's the best place to find it. Um, and get entered in there uh, for completing our survey. And yeah, uh, also Lincoln Speedway, Lincoln, Illinois. I will be racing this Saturday. Don't expect a lot out of it. I'm taking a knife to a gunfight in the IMCA car against the UMP cars. Um, my little restricted 360 versus the open 420s. So uh, we'll see how we do. Uh, but don't, don't get your hopes up if you happen to come or, or watch online. So, all right, let's get that crap out of the way. So, all right, we got two races on tap here. We've won three races in a row. No repairs needed at the moment, and I know for sure we don't have enough money to make any upgrades, so we'll take a look here. So last video, we ran five races. Um, Weed Sport was a showcase race. We finished seventh, second at Eldora on the members-only video. Then we got our first win at Lima Land and backed it up with a win at Fairbury and backed that up with a win on the last lap from 13th starting position at Norris County. Up next, so we got Sheep Mountain today and Lernerville today, and then tomorrow we will round out the season at Knoxville. One race episode there. Yeah, we are currently 47... Uh, what, that's 53... 68 points behind. Rick Conroy are in the race lead, in the points lead, so it's a stretch. But it's doable. No repairs needed, like I said. Well, I wonder if we got any room for it. Yep, we don't even have room for that. That's the cheapest. Tires are the cheapest upgrade. So, yeah, we need $153,000 before we can even get the engine upgrade. So, all right. 40 laps, $15,000 to win at Sheep Mountain. Let's go. All right, heat race time here at Sheep Mountain. We're back here in the pit area. We qualified P1 by four-tenths of a second Got the qualify or qualify and sponsor but and practice sponsor bonus. Not gonna do anything to the setup of the car. It's running fairly well right now. So let's see if we can keep the momentum rolling. Grab some more dubs. Alright, top four to the A main this time. Top four. Top two to the qualify dash. Good Jordan Weaver two out outside. Here we go. Green flag is out. All right, here we are racing now at Sheep Mountain Raceway. Going to jump out to the early race lead here over Jordan Weaver and Kate C. Burdett. Send it off in the turn number three. Burdett gets to the inside of Weaver, but Kyle Steffens is going to st stick his nose in to the second position in front of Burdett and Weaver on the first lap, and he's going to hold on to that spot through most of lap number two. Weaver looking to the inside of Steffens. As we're going to complete two laps here. Eight laps to go in heat race action. Remember, four cars transferred to the A main. So that fifth place car on the top left leaderboard of your screen is not going to make the A main directly from the heat race. So right now we got Casey Burdett, Jordan Weaver, Kyle Steffens, your four 
tra your three transfer cars behind us. We've got a one second lead over Kate C. I gotta stop saying it like that. Uh, ooh, we're gonna get into the wall just a tiny, tiny bit right there. Not gonna hurt us at all. Half a second lead now to Jordan Weaver. At least through the corners. They're like, they're sending it into the corners, if you can see in the mirror behind us. But we are definitely pulling away on corner exit. Casey Burdett was right there as we are on the back half of this heat race. Four laps to go. I still don't think I'm going to make any changes to the car. It's handling just fine. Running just fine. Not too worried about it right now. Three laps remain. We are starting to approach the back of the field. I don't know. We will probably catch them. Yeah, we're definitely going to catch them. Two laps to go this time by at the flag stand. Two laps to go. Ooh. Burdett and Weaver trying everything they can to try to close in on us. We're going to go down the back straightaway into turn number three. Off of turn number four. Down the front stretch through the dog leg to grab the white flag. We're going to put that one car a lap down. And probably put the second car of Wilson a lap down as well. And we're going to come off turn number four and grab the checkered flag and another heat race win to start on the pole of the qualified dash here at sheep mountain casey burdett going to join me in the qualified dash jordan weaver and kyle steffens going to transfer into the a main all right a main time and conspicuously absent from the that 10 car um Qualified Dash was points leader Rick Conoyer. Uh, we finished fifth in the Qualified Dash uh, because of a very, very aggressive move Tyson, move Tyson Blood made. And uh, just, you know, that's how it worked out. So we're going to start fifth. MSD wants us to finish in fifth or in the top five. I think we can do it. We got, what, 30, 30 40 laps to get it done. Can we get four in a row? Let's find out. All right, a main time here from Sheep Mountain Raceway. Drake Troutman finished third in heat two. He's starting from the 12th position. Kyle Strickler finished second in the qualified dash. He's going to start from the second position. And Austin Holcomb finished fourth in that dash. He's going to start fourth. We finished fifth in the qualified dash. We're going to roll from the fifth position. Getting ready to go green flag racing. Here we go. Green flag is out. We are racing here from Sheep Mountain Raceway. All right, we are 40 laps is the distance for zero. We're going to look to the inside of Austin Holcomb and grab the fourth spot here in this initial circuit. We're going to do just that. Michael Long looks to the inside and grabs fourth from us. We're going to plus one, minus one, all in this span of about one corner. We're going to look to the inside of Michael Long. Now, ooh, down the back straight where he tried to cut it down real hard, but he cut it down right into our right rear. So we're going to have no damage. We're good to go. Looking to the inside is Kyle Strickland now into turns one and two. He's going to stay top side and have a good run. He's going to hold on to third for the time being as Michael Long's going to send her in there again. Uh, you think they'd learn at some point, but I don't think they do. Tyson Blood is out to the early race lead. Long doesn't send it in there this time. Let's pull that leaderboard right back up here. There we go. Remember Michael Ledford and... Rick Conoyer are the two cars in front of us in the point standings. We are currently third. We're going to look to the inside of both Strickler and Ledford. We're going to get Strickler, not going to get Ledford, put us P3. 35 laps to go. Five laps are complete. Not time by. We're going to look to the inside of Ledford. No, nothing doing just yet. Rick Conoyer, Michael Ledford, two cars in front of us in the point standings. Ledford is second. Conoyer is the points leader. Haven't seen him all night. And that was a terrible corner one and two. I shouldn't even get credit for that pass but we're going to take it tyson blood has a two second race lead at the moment Let's see if we can close in on that with 33 circuits remaining and get into the wall just a little bit tyson blood remains on the top side and he's making it work as he's approaching the back of the field i think you'll see that yellow banana there of kale brown and i'm not sure who that is behind him looks like it might be jacob marker 
We're going to continue on here. Kyle Strickler now in the third position. Or, nope, Ledford now in the third position. Strickler back and forth. Michael Long holding fifth. Strickler and Ledford going back and forth for that position as Tyson Blood has passed the first of the back markers. It happened to be Jacob Marker. Oh, boy. And he is just set sail trying to break our streak of three in a row, trying to go for four in a row. 29 laps to go. Well, that's not Jacob Marker. That's Jeffrey Carter. Have not seen Rick Conoyer yet, and unfortunately Tyson Blood has gotten a little bit of clean track in front of him. Kale Brown now in front of us in the manor. There we go. Going to get past him. James Walker now in front of us. As Blood hasn't really pulled or extended his lead on us. I mean, it's been hovering right around that 2, 2.2 second mark uh, since we got into the second position. Devin Reynolds now to our outside uh, in the white and green car. Jacob Marker now. There's Jacob Marker. So we're going to get by him. I think if I can start putting some good laps together, we'll be... We'll be sitting pretty on gaining some spots. Again, we have not seen Rick Conoyer. So he's running mid-pack at the moment. I do see him. I do see him. We're going to get by Vanden Top here. I made a little bit of a mistake on that one. Weiser in front of us now with Zeke McKenzie in front of him. Tyson Blood having a little bit of trouble getting around the lap car. Of, I believe that's Will Krupp. We're going to look to the inside of Wiser here on the apron of the track. You know we're not going to do it. Enter in a little higher, cut her down, get a good run off, and get right by Alan Wiser hunting down now. Zeke McKenzie will crop before we can get to race leader Tyson Blood. Blood's going to, ooh, he's passing Rick Conoyer right now, 1870. So Conoyer running in the 16th position at the moment, so we've got 21 laps to go. And get by Zeke McKenzie, and that number to the race leader is starting to get smaller lap by lap. Let's we'll see what happens now that he's not fighting another car. Oh man, car's handling really nicely right now. We have gained about a second in the last 10 laps. We've got a little loosey goosey right there. Look to the inside of Krupp now. He knows we're here, he's going to let us go. Good for him. We just passed the points leader, Rick Gunnoyer. This could put us into second place in the point standings. Depends on where Led Ledford's running third right now, so I don't think we're going to gain enough on him. But it is possible that we could be closing in very, very quickly on Rick Conoyer for the points lead after just a streak of hellaciously good finishes here. Three wins in a row, stemming starting at Lima Land. Uh, then we went to Fairbury, got a win there. And then we went to Norris County, got a win there. And I see a bunch of contact with some cars up in front of us. As Tyson Blood is in the thick of it right now. And trying to get past Lucas Lee, who's running 15th at the moment. He's going to do just that. Now trying to get by uh, not, with Jeffrey Carter and Kyle Steffens. So we're going to have a little bit of a bad entry into turn number one. Let's pull a tear off the clean screen on there. And we've closed in to just about a second as Blood is now getting by Stephens, Bollinger, and it appears to be Drake Troutman. You know what I really need right now is a caution. Haven't seen anything happen all race long, or all night long, actually. No caution in any race. So we're going to get by those guys fairly easily. And close back in on Tyson, but the anticipation is palpable right now. Like, I can taste it. We've only got 11 laps to go to try to close in on Tyson, but not only close in, but pass him. And I remember what he did to me in that qualified dash. He just shoved me out of the way. So, uh, we need to, we'll, we'll get aggressive here. So, he is not getting a good run. He's not being able to run the line that he wants. I know that. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. Oh, man, we are so close. Wall, going to spark off the wall a little bit. Oh, man. 
Oh, contact. Yes! That's exactly what I needed. Casey Burnett goes around. That is exactly what I needed. Here we go. Oh, boy. All right. Y'all ready for this? All right. This is going to be exciting. All right. We got to restart here. We are green flag back racing. Got to watch out for Ledford throwing a dive bomb into turn number three. I think he just propelled us forward more than anything, but uh, I'm being real aggressive right now, more so than I normally would. Ledford gets by us for a second, and come on, man. Like, you guys can't do that. Like, you... All right, there we go. Then we're going to get back by Ledford, but I think we've lost any possible momentum we could have had to get by Tyson Blood. He's out to almost a second lead on us already. But he is on that top side, and I don't know if that top side is faster now. But we will see, I guess. <laughs> um, Ledford keeps trying to get by us. I got to try something here, right? So we're going to have two laps to go at the line. Two laps to go. Let's try to try to go this top side. 1.1. When I entered the corner, it is still 1.1. Didn't gain, didn't lose. I'm gonna jump to the bottom more so in defense than we are in offense. Ledford is gonna try to throw a bomb here. Uh, going into turn number three, we're gonna block it with everything we've got, and we're gonna hold him off. Come on, second. All right, so we didn't get four in a row, unfortunately, but we did have a good run, good points day especially. Um, Ledford going to finish right behind it. Didn't pick up too much on him, but it's possible that first and second in the point standings has changed because Rick Conway, our points leader, finished 18th. Yikes. All right, second place run here at Sheep Mountain. Great, great points day. Like I said, let's see where we are. Still third. Do we have a change at the top? No. 13, 17, 13, 19, and 13, 48. Oh, my gosh. 17, uh, 28, 38, 48. Oh, we're 31 points behind. Oh, my gosh. How many points did we gain on him that time? 70 for second and 18th is 33. 33 40, 40, 40. We gained 37 points on him right there. It's possible. It's possible to get it done. So. It's going to come down to these last two races for sure. We're leaving Sheep Mountain with a decent chunk of change in our pockets, like I always say. Not a bad day at the office. $27,235 and a total of 2,748 skill points, even though they don't matter anymore. Let's head back to the shop. we got another race coming up at Lernerville. All right, one more race on tap for you all today. Before we head to Knoxville and the season finale, got our sponsor goal completed perfectly there. Add some more change to our pockets. Lernerville is up next. Excuse me. Uh, we're going to sponsor instead of, yeah, we can finish top five in this next race. Isabella Boris is a new crew chief at 40% proficiency. So need to go hire her real quick. Personnel. UMP modified crew chief. Oh, wow. Yeah. 25% from Christoph Bogoslaw to Isabella Boris. I, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but let's head back to the race shop with the UMP modified. We got some repairs to make. Uh, yeah, we don't have enough to do that because we still need a hundred thousand dollars more. So uh, we'll repair the suspension for 1156, and then we'll repair the engine for 926. All right, so let's take a look at these point standings again. We've got three wins. Ledford's got one. Connor's got four. But yeah, we are 31 points behind. We gained 37 points last race, so it is possible. Ledford, Connor, Osmond, that is the battle for the points championship let's head to lernerville in pennsylvania let's go all right here we are at lernerville speedway in the ump modified we're going to come down here and make one small air pressure adjustment to the left rear and you can check out everything else 
I mean, it's pretty pretty normal. Left weight, 53%. Cross weight's 52.5. The rear is at 53. Rear end ratio is a 510. And then, like I said, the tire pressure on the left rear is an 8. Spring's a 200. Right rear spring is a 300. That's the changes I've made. Heat race time here. We're starting second after a sixth place qualifying effort. See if we can put her in the show. Let's go. Top five to the main, top two to the qualify dash here at Lernerville Speedway in Pennsylvania. We are starting second next to our points rival, Rick Conoyer. He qualified second. We are racing here. Sorry, I was trying to zone in on, on everything. We're going to hold on to the second position over Casey Burdett on this initial circuit as he's going to throw a bomb into turn number three. Remember, we have a very early start-finish line here uh, on the front straightaway, or front stretch. We're going to fight Casey Burdett for this second position, and we're not going to let it go easily. And at the line, I'm going to bounce off the wall and have heavy right side damage. Yikes. Something fell off the car. There's debris on the track from that heavy, heavy, heavy hit. All right, we're going to have to limp it home now, and I'm kind of afraid with what's going to happen here. So let's see what we can do for the remainder of this race. I think we've got, what, like seven, eight laps to go? Seven laps to go this time. Bye, yep. All right, so let's see what we can do here for the remaining seven laps. Gonna car, the car's going to get a little loosey-goosey there. Uh, and Alan Weiser is going to get by us for the third position here for the moment at least. Oh boy, we slid up a lot, but we're going to slide him grab third spot back from Weiser. Oh my goodness. One of the first. Oh boy, I didn't know he was there. Didn't know he was there. I'll apologize. I'll apologize. That's my fault. We were running in third position, start second. Got a lot of heavy right side damage on the car. Um, remember, Rick Conoyer is leading the point standings. He is leading this race right now. Four laps to go. Okay, well, look at that. Looky there. That top side actually gained me some spots or some time. At least through turns one and two it did. Right there. Eh, at least it feels like it does. All right, can we throw a bomb on Burdette here? And, uh, oh, God. That's not how I want to do it. And Weiser's going to get by us there. Two laps to go. See if we can grab the spot back from Alan Weiser. We're better on the bottom of three and four, but the car's still really like right there. And that's not how I want to grab a position, but if it works, it works, right? Weiser tries to go to the bottom on us through one and two. Not going to make it happen. We really got to get better through three and four. We want to try to move up in the field here for the A main because we're not going to make the qualify dash. You got to tighten this car up a little bit. All right, so Connor gets to win. KC Burdett going to finish P2. They will transfer into the qualify dash. We're going to come home third with Alan Weiser and James Walker behind us. Those five cars will transfer into the A main. It is time for the A main here at Lernerville Speedway. And I am going to, on the crossway, I'm going to go up to a 53.5. Yes. And I'm actually going to drop. No. I'm going to drop the right rear tire pressure a pound. All right. There is the setup for the A main. We've got a number of laps. I think it's 40. But starting 10th, MSD, sponsor, wants us to finish top five. Can we do it? Let's find out. A main time here from Lernerville Speedway. Austin Holcomb finished fifth in heat one. He's starting 17th and starting in the third positions. Michael Ledford, one of our other points rivals, finished third in the heat in the qualified dash. Zeke McKenzie finished sixth in the qualified dash. He's starting sixth. We finished third in heat race two. We are starting from the 
10th position. Here we go. Green flag is out. We are racing here at Lernerville Speedway. Going to be a little slow on the go on that initial start, but we're going to pick up a head of steam going down the front stretch and into turn number one. Go look to the outside. Casey Burdett down the back straight away. And not able to make anything happen there. Get all bunched up like a banana. Through three and four, we need to pull a tear off. Ooh, got a little loosey goosey there through the middle. Turns one and two. Tyson Blood looks to the inside and get rid of that too. He's going to grab the 10th spot. We're going to fall back to 11. We're going to try to get some spin. And it is, there are cars everywhere here. Ooh, there we go. We are able to drive right by Casey Burdett. Oh, big caution. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I got so excited, I almost choked myself. That was points leader Rick Conoyer having trouble there. Oh my word, oh my Lanta, this has opened things up like a can of worms. We're going to have four laps completed at the line. We just need to have a good finish now because Conoyer is going to have damage. He's going to be slow. Oh my goodness, how the tides have turned, how the turntables, oh my God, Casey Burdett just sent it in there into turn number three, leans on us, eight tires better than four, I guess, uh, but we're hunting him down now for the fifth position, man, I don't really, we're going to bring that skinny traffic cone, that traffic cone on Ozempic onto the track. We're going to get by Burdett. We're going to also get by Mike Beasley, temporarily at least, and grab the fourth spot. Beasley's going to hold on to it, though. No, we're going to have it at the line. Put us at P4 from 10th. Mind you, started 10th. Now looking for a podium spot here on Adam Stricker. We're going to get it at the line, P3. Oh, boy. Got in the wall a little bit. I think we're better through turns one and two on the top side. And then down low on three and four. Let's try the top side through three and four just to see what we got here. Oh, oh, I think we got something here. Mackenzie. Oh, no, 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 no. What was that? Did you guys see that? The car just like bottomed out, it felt like. That was strange. I've never felt that before. We got to watch out for that. That was weird. Like I set the car for the corner and it just went to the right and not the good way. All right, we've got to be careful now. Running in the third position behind Zeke McKenzie, Jordan Weaver out to a commanding three-second lead right now. There's Skinny Ozempic Cone we brought onto the track earlier, but it's out of the racing group. No caution. We've got about a second and a quarter to Adam Stricker or Mike Beasley. Oh, Conoy are back in the fifth position. As of right now, we will inherit the second position in the point standings over Michael Ledford. But ladies and gentlemen, depending on where Rick Conroyer finishes, and he's right now in the fourth position, he's rallied back to the fourth position. Kudos to him for sure. So we're trying to hunt down Zeke McKenzie for the second position here. Oh yeah, there we go. That is that is money right there. We are closing in on Zeke McKenzie. Oh, that's, that's so smooth. So smooth. We just got to watch these slower cars now, these back markers. I think we can get by McKenzie. We just got to pick and pick our moment because uh, we got to watch these lap cars. And we're going to look to get to the inside. No. Not going to have that good run like we've had these last few laps. Look to the outside, there is a car there. So we're not going to slide up just yet. We should be able to this time, though. As long as Marker isn't there, he is, though. Let's sneak by. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Like we hit the turbo button. Ooh, a little bit of contact with McKenzie there. Down the back straight away. Maybe, maybe crisscross applesauce here. Oh, boy. Got a little tight on the exit. We're going to hold on to third. McKenzie's still in second. We're going to look to the outside. And slingshot engage. Put us P2 down the back stretch. Off of turn number four, we're holding down third. Second position. I almost don't know why. Holding down second here with little less than, little more than halfway to go. Well, we're halfway this time. Up. So half of the race has gone, half of the race to go. Mackenzie's still battling there on the bottom side. We're going to stick it on the bottom. 
to get by Van de Top, to get by, I think that was Lucas Lee. Ray Bollinger now in front of us, and McKenzie's going to send it into turn number three, shoot us up the track. And oh my goodness, where did Rick Conoyer come from? He came out of nowhere. Oh my goodness. I didn't think we would have to worry about him anymore this race because of uh, what happened earlier. But no, no, no. The man has shown up to play. We're going to go to the inside of McKenzie, grab second place back from him. Oh, we're going to push real hard, but we're going to have it at the line. Remember, the more cars in between me and uh, Conoyer, the better. So as long as McKenzie can hold on to that spot and hold Conoyer off, we are going to gain points. I mean, as long as we finish ahead of Conoyer, we're going to gain points. Okay, Beasley's now gotten by Conoyer, so that's good. Jordan Weaver out to... He's he's in his own zip code at the moment, so um, nobody's going to catch him. But Michael Long now has closed in on us for the third position. I don't know if you saw him very briefly at the bottom of the screen. He is there. We just got to be careful here, man. They is right there. There's Michael Long's front tires. See, car's kind of loose on the bottom, but on the top, it is darn near perfect, but I need to be able to navigate around everybody else. Like 17th place running Kyle Steffens and 16th Austin Holcomb, 15th Will Krupp. I need to be able to get around them, and I can't do that if I'm running to the top, they're running to the top. So, all right, going to get by Holcomb here. Hope, oh, man, I was really hoping Krupp, Krupp would go to the bottom, but we're going to get by him regardless. All right, now Michael Ledford in the fifth position. I think with that, he's going to get by Conoyer and put himself into, or no, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm two points behind Ledford. So as long as I finish ahead of Ledford, I will jump into second in the point standings. Uh, which is exactly the case right now. We've got 10 laps to go. Can we hold off Michael Long, Mike Beasley, <laughs> the triad of Michaels behind us. Michael, Mike, Michael, Michael, Mike, Michael, Michael, Mike, Michael. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> All right, nine laps to go now. Michael Long trying to hunt us down for the second position. Mike Beasley behind him. Michael Ledford behind him. No sign of Rick Conoyer, so we've got a decent amount of points to gain here should we be able to hold on to the second position. Beasley has gotten by Long, but Long trying to fight back and grab the spot from Beasley. And we're going to stick it back up on the top side and get a good head of steam down the front stretch. Seven laps to go. Looking to the inside of Jacob a Marker now. Get to the inside of him as Mike Beasley... Throws it in on the bottom once again. Not able to make a pass. We're going to block on the bottom. None of the AI cars have really gone to the top. So I'm not super concerned about that. At least not to make a pass, I should say. That was a terrible corner. But we're going to hold on to a five laps to go. Ledford now has closed in on us. Looking at the inside of Beasley now. We have four to go at the line. Ledford sends it in to turn number three. We're still going to have him at the line. I think we got to go top side. Try to get a good head of steam built up here into turn number three so we can drive down and get by. Nope, we're going to stay on the top side through three and four. Get a good no, good run down the front stretch. Ooh, I probably should have stayed up on the top, but we're going to slam the door on Ledford. And you know what? If he's going to be there. We're going to go high, and Beasley's going to get by us. Come on, man. Two laps to go now as Rick Connor has thrown his hat back into the mix. We're going to get by Beasley on the bottom. Coming to the white flag. Ledford has stretched himself out on us. Only thing that can happen now is a caution, and I don't know if caution's how. Oh my gosh. Speak and ye shall receive. That was Michael Ledford. And oh my word, he's going to fall way back because it was the last lap. We're going to finish in the second position because of Ledford's hardship there on the last lap. Oh my word, Jordan Weaver gets the race win. Beasley comes, we come home second, Mike Beasley in the third position. Rick Conoyer in fourth, so we didn't gain a ton of points on Conoyer, but we did gain some. And Zeke McKenzie rounds out your top five. Michael Ledford falls all the way back to eighth 
the last car on the lead lap. All right, started 10th at Lernerville here, finished in the second position, should have taken over second in the point standings too, and yes, sir, we did. We gained 10 points on Rick Conoyer. 87, 97, 07. We are 21 points behind Rick Conoyer. So if we look at this, if we win 5, 10, 15, 20, Conoyer has to finish fifth or worse, or sixth or worse, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, this is doable, guys. This this is doable. Man. Oh, so excited. All right, 16650 for the race win. Decent chunk of change here at Lernerville in Pennsylvania. 30,222 missed our qualified goal, so we're only leaving with 2,530 skill points. But again, the points don't matter. So let's head back to the race shop. We have one race remaining in this season. Let's get the car ready and then in tip-top shape for it. All right, we are back from Pennsylvania and ready to head to Knoxville, Iowa for the final race of the season. Got some repairs to make before we do that. Oh, boy. We are 21 points outside of the championship hunt. We're going to get a top five in this next one. I just know we are. All right, we're going to repair our tires for 687. We're going to repair the chassis for 3344. We don't have enough to do anything else, really. I mean, we could do that, but we're not going to have anything to do any of the any of the other upgrades. And we're only gaining two performance points from that. And we're losing a lot of durability with it, too. So we're not going to do anything there. Um, like I said, Knoxville is the last race of the season. 21 points separates us and a championship. 50 laps at Knoxville is on tap for tomorrow because that is going to do it for us here today episode 25 of world of outlaws dirt racing 24 i am the og geo greg osmond thank you all so much for watching and we'll catch you next time